Greetings to my team of 144, all star seeds, love workers, and way showers. It is 10112019, October 11, 2019. 1010 portal here today. Massive energy waves coming in. Most of the light workers, star seeds were feeling it today through that 1010 portal yesterday into the 1011 which is leading us to the full moon on October 13th, which part of our transmission today is about this powerful full moon coming up this Sunday. Today, a lot of energy is coming in. I connected in the morning with Divine Feminine Goddess in Utah, and this evening, Divine Feminine Goddess in Canada, which I'll talk about later. Right now, we'll take a few minutes, take a minute for meditation now you can follow this and pause the video after we do this to sit in these energies we can close our eyes and with spine straight take several deep breaths in and out the nose going into the stillness into the emptiness with each breath we breathe in the heavenly chi the sacred chi the sacred prana and as we exhale, we release the past, all negative thoughts, negative feelings, negative emotions, see them release. And with each breath, just go deeper and deeper, deeper within, releasing into the emptiness, into the stillness. Put your awareness in your heart center, the center of your chest. Feel the energy, feel the life, feel the bliss. And in that stillness, see the great fire, the great gathering, See yourself sitting at this gathering with your guides, your ancestors, your families, with your ascended masters, your team of light warriors, celebrating the victory of light, celebrating the energies of the new earth manifest, and feel the joy and the happiness to be with your soul family here now in eternity, gathering around the sacred fire, this great fire, of infinite light, infinite life. And hear the celebration, feel it, feel the joy, feel how good it feels to be victorious, to be living in grace, living in honor, living in gratitude for all that we are, all that we have, and for our connections with our teams, our light worker families, our soul families, our family of love workers gathering together to uplift all life, all of humanity, through this ascension process. We are gathering and we are rising up, brothers and sisters of the light. Feel it. Feel it in your vessel, in your body, in your avatar, as the angelic realms coming through now. Feel your spirit lifting, feel the presence of the Holy Spirit, the Great Spirit, the Great Mystery, our highest self coming through the field now, coming through the energies. We are the waters, we are the fires of sacred divine light, divine love, divine life. You can pause this transmission and sit in that energy as long as you'd like, as long as you need to. Feel the warmth of the fire, feel the warmth of your connection to your family of light, to our family. We are all here together, and we are here to assist all life and all humanity through this ascension process. Aho, 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 brothers and sisters of the light. Today's transmission from Laura Pleiadian, the full moon, October 13th, 2019, the fork in the road. The powerful, emotional, activating full moon in Aries is on Sunday, October 13th, 2019 at 6.07 p.m. ADT. This takes place during a long weekend for those in Canada and the United States. Thanksgiving Day in Canada and Columbus Day in the United States, both on Monday the 14th of October. You may feel challenged or tested emotionally if you have some fear left in your subconscious memory. However, the silver lining is you can choose to stay in your heart space and choose through stillness and heart-centered awareness that which serves you eternally, even if you do not 
and go the way of repetitive patterning. Again, all is okay with your soul always. There is no time in the blueprint plan of the soul incarnating into the program of Earth. So to get with the program and to not be so dense, 3D programming, slow down. This will make it easier to stay focused. After all, you are practicing this, right? Your power and ability to stay focused on the new way of being, that is to shift from the head to the heart, takes exactly that practice. The full moon always brings up that which is hidden in the subconscious, that is this, the discrepancy from that which you desire through your heart. These energetic impulses as memory are there for you to be aware of and continue on observing that which is going through you. The full moon square Pluto will activate intense energies in areas of your consciousness specific to you and your blueprint. This is based on your current frequency that you are emitting and is also based on what is it is you have left in your subconscious mind, the karma and the unique fear pain patterns. Remember, as you practice living through your heart and observing the mental body and emotional body are not the eternal you. They are simply patterns to be completed so that you may graduate and ascend to be the eternal in form as above, so below. Power struggles, jealousy may increase in those around you. The perfect solution be in your heart and nothing then feels like it can penetrate your energy or frequency. Unless, of course, these are specific triggers for you, then pay attention and still be in your heart. The full moon trine Jupiter is a gateway of transcending duality through great opportunities to stay open, to stay in your heart, if that is your intention, and to expand your consciousness through your heart, clearing anything to be cleared, catapulting you to the perfect choices based on your frequency, and to higher levels and ascension opportunities. And Jupiter, semi-sextile Pluto, activates the power to choose what is the highest and best for you. Now those immersed in separation consciousness, sometimes the best choice is the one that takes them to their lowest point, and then that works as a catalyst for their transformation. It is not for us to say suffering is useless because it is not. It is a teacher of consciousness, so that the path to freedom will eventually be chosen, and it will, all who began the earth program only complete it when they do ascend. Everyone will is the great news, so how about you focus all your attention on your own transformation? It takes everything on the last and final round of incarnations to take that final leap to freedom, to unification with the eternal you. After all, you descended, now you are ascending. The divine council of overseers, overseers activates all now, for this now monumental fork in the road for many, the celebration is now ready, no judgment to yourself. If you are still in suffering, only love. And here we are, in love. From Laura Pleiadian, from the new divine humanity dot, dot com, And from Candace Whitelight, a short Schumann update, 10, on 10.10 10 at 10 p.m. For 24 hours since last night's opening of the portal, we have had this wonderful reflection on the Schumann graph with the clear, bright, horizontal line at the 1313 hertz another, and another series of pulses at the alpha brain wave state. We should be holding a great moment of clearing and connected tones. These are centered in the third eye and resonant to the 432 hertz. As we move into that space, remember to clear your crown as well to access the soul star and universal divine feminine and masculine, equally with the twin pillars and the twin flame that beats in every hue man's heart. This connection with the circuit is what this 1010 portal is about. Clear, connect, and inner space, no time, alpha brain function, breathe, relax, and enjoy. And from Gaia portal, preliminaries finish. Intermediaries are incorporated into the reception of the high cosmics at this time. Humanity begins the full surrender process. Humanity rises to assist all. The light crystallizes the solution. And from Elizabeth Peru, the energy after 1010, the past 24 hours have been interesting, haven't they? The Schumann resonance thankfully had a nice spike up after being flat and many have felt a rush of personal power feel fill their solar plexus. I've been hearing from so many 
members of our tip-off community that this week's new energy forecasts are particularly exciting, encouraging, and uplifting to all. You see, the next seven days are set to see a great shift for many. We're already feeling more upbeat after days of feeling tired, slowed down, and reassessing our priorities. This weekend, I call out to anyone who's on the verge of making a change to better yourself. Why wait when you can do it now? And this is from ElizabethPeru.com, from Christina Papa Giorgio for Today Kin 91, Blue Cosmic Monkey, 11th of October 2019, 11 10 12 equaling 3 3 equals 6, 11 the Portal Duality Partnership, 6 Heaven, Christ Consciousness, Harmony, Love, Romance, Joy, Kin 91 equaling 10. Manifestation, New Beginnings and Leadership, 13 Cosmic Tone, Cosmic Consciousness, Goddess, Natural Lore, 13 Moons and Expansion, A Day of Magic of the Highest Order Today, A Very Potent Portal for Divine Alchemy, Today is Blue Cosmic Monkey Day and the Cosmic Tone is the highest frequency of the Monkey Tribe, what a blast. Day 13 in the Blue Storm Wave Spell of Purification, Cleansing, Transformation, and Evolution. Today on Day 13, we get to experience great magic, witnessing the completion of this transformative, great evolutionary wave spell. Ask and ye shall receive. Much divine magic is afoot. (laughs) From the Zolkin Times, for the Blue Cosmic Monkey, Cosmic is the name for the number 13. And its key words are endure, transcend, and presence. The 13th and last day of the wave spell completes the journey, and therefore so much must be considered today concerning the lessons learnt. We began on Blue Storm and it's been quite a ride. Endure to transcend is the number 13's message, meaning that we have to strive for progress in our life. It is never simply handed to you on a silver platter. Today is the blue monkey which represents play, illusion, and magic. So after 13 days of riding the storm, our final destination is the cosmic monkey, suggesting that through change we find magic. Monkey days can be fun and magical, yes, but also there is a wise aspect to monkey. Magic must not be confused with illusion, and monkey takes teaching this important lesson very seriously. Today he will call you out if you have fallen under any kind of illusion. As it is a cosmic day, this process can be quite enduring. Worth it in the end for sure as magic is definitely something we all need in our lives. The guide today is the blue eagle, which sees things from a higher perspective. And when in the guiding position, this enables us to have visions. Step back and see the bigger picture today. This will help immensely with discerning between magic and illusion. From the Dream Spell Journey by Volum Votan and Belonik. Happy Magic Flight of the Blue Storm Wave Spell. The power of self-generation, Storm. Ascends through the cosmic monkey, transcending illusion through magic. Today's Kin 91, Cosmic Monkey 13 Monkey, is also marks 80 years plus one Zolkin since the birth of Jose R. Willis, Volum Votan, 24 January 1939. Therefore, today's Kin 91 would also complete his solar spin number 80, four Katoons times 20 year plus one Zolkin. Kin 91 is number 19 inverted, and it transcends the wave spell of Seal 19, Storm Wave Spell. In this way, the codes of Volum Votan have inscribed the Alpha Purpose of 19 and the Omega Transcendence of 19, 1919, which is the code of the 1919 Crystal Matrix. Aho! 11 October 2019, NS1.32.3.22. Kin 91, Blue Cosmic Monkey, the mantra for the day. The code is I endure in order to play. Transcending illusion, I seal the process of magic. With the cosmic tone of presence, I am guided by the power of vision. Harmonic 23, magnetic process, formulate free will of purpose. So there we have it, brothers and sisters of the light. Let us know what you experienced through this 1010 portal and today on this intense activation portal day there are many energies coming through the field today there are many signs symbols angelic forms in the clouds today 
Let us know what you saw, felt, experienced. Every day is a new adventure now as we travel through these portals from the 1010 to the 1111, the 1212, into the 1221, which brings us into the 2020 perfect vision. And today, when I connected with the Divine 44, Divine Goddess in Utah and Divine Goddess in Canada, these energies were very intense. The fire energies were building. Both of the feminine energies were feeling the energy of the figure eight, which I explain is the three-dimensional double toroidal field of the electromagnetic field that flows through the body. There's an upward flow and a downward flow. It is also symbolized as the Merkaba field, the field of Merkaba, which is being activated in all light workers, love workers here through this these portal activations. And you're feeling it maybe as a spiraling vortex energy through the center of your vessel, the center of your body. So these energies became very intense. And then this evening, when connecting uh, with the divine feminine in Canada, there was pulses of light from the sun coming through the window. And then manifest was a massive violet, purple, and magenta light all around her as the angelic realm came in. So you may feel it now as I speak about it. You may feel it. You may hear the tones of the sacred light language, the sacred light tones, the light frequencies. You may feel when the angelic realm comes in or connects with us, you may feel it as chills through the body, especially through the arms, through the spine and the crown, through the heart center, or through the solar plexus. Let us know what you're feeling now as we empty into that feeling, as we put our awareness, just put your awareness in the vessel, And you can call on your team, your angelic team, the Ascended Masters, your spirit guides, and just feel as they come through, feel it in your body, and transmit exactly what you're feeling. So I'd like to thank you all for joining me here. Thank you for sharing your experiences in the comments. Uh, Be sure to subscribe to this channel. I plan on bringing the collected energy of the Divine 44, our team, to all of you within the next couple weeks. I'll let you know. It'll probably be the uh, Sunday in two weeks is a tentative date where I will stream live through this channel, our team of the Divine 44 to connect and assist all of you to transmit their love, their light, their energy, their codes to all of you as a combined effort to assist all star seeds, love workers, way showers on this massive ascension mission to uplift all life and all of humanity in all realms. I'd like to also thank everyone on the mission for the Healing Retreat Center in Ecuador, South America, and the foothills of of the Andes. We are using a CBD business to raise funds for this mission. You can join us on CBDPeaceOil.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, Be sure to check, um, make sure you're subscribed to this channel for more updates. Uh, People have been telling me that YouTube has been unsubscribing people. So make sure you click the subscription and then click the little bell next to the subscribe to get notifications when I put out the daily transmissions. And then we have more coming. I plan on, once I bring the Divine 44 to you, I'll be connecting and doing, uh, having conversations with uh, certain light workers, love workers that are on mission f- to assist humanity through this ascension process and many healing modalities. So Thank you again for joining us today. I appreciate each and every one of you. Keep walking your path with heart. Keep shining your light brightly into the night, brothers and sisters of the light. I love you all. Namaste.